Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing and Showbox does it again. Dynamite David Stevens delivers with two seconds left in the fight, and that's a kid we've seen here locally in Texas several times. Um, before we get to that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. Um, quick hits comes at you every day, um, eight to ten minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, Please subscribe to our other channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube, Texas Boxing Scene um, on YouTube. Um, that's completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. All proceeds come uh, go to Autism Research and Recovery. Let's get into today's show. Showbox does this all the time. I mean, it, it's getting ridiculous now with Showbox. He just give you these cards that deliver, and we're only going to touch on the main event, uh, but David Dynamite Stevens, who's fought here locally, he's fought in San Antonio, he's fought in Dallas recently, he's fought in Houston, he's fought in Austin, uh, he trains with Ronnie Shields out in, in, in Houston. Uh, I mean, unbelievable performance. I had him up. Um, I, I thought he was winning. I thought it was a very typical um, pressure fighter versus boxer kind of affair. I thought Hemphill was getting in. I thought he was landing cleaner shots. I thought he was landing the more authoritative shots. And I thought he was breaking them down. And I was shocked to see the scorecards that all the judges had Hemphill up. Um, Sean Hemphill, I, I thought maybe carried the first round or two and maybe one other one. Um, I, I had it 4-3. Um, so I had uh, – I'm losing my brain here. I, I had it 4-3. Uh, Stevens, I had Stevens up a point. They had him down three on the scorecards. Um, so they, they, they flipped some rounds, close rounds, but I, I thought Hemphill was breaking them down, landing the better shots. You know, um, he needs to go to the body a little bit more consistently. Um, he needs to throw a little bit more in combination, but he's 22. He's coming along nicely and a really, really good win uh, for Stevens. Um, Hemphill was, was, was the favorite in the fight, trained by Buddy McGirt. And you can see that Buddy McGirt style in him. A uh, pretty good boxer. Um, Pretty good boxer, mover, long, rangy. Just um, and 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 this is what I always say. It, this is not the amateurs. You can't just run for eight rounds. You're gonna have to stand in and trade. Hemp Hill couldn't do that. And I say in a twelve round fight, eventually that guy's gonna break you down. It happened in eight, and I, I forget who it was, uh, but someone tweeted out, you know, eight rounds are perfect for these undefeated prospects. Um, Absolutely perfect. And I don't disagree. I really, I don't disagree. Um, eight round fight was perfect. And we saw it. Hemphill stopped him with two seconds. Left. I mean, um, Steven stopped Hemphill with two seconds left in the fight. Um, and a really, really good super middleweight affair. And uh, he came in well under 168 pounds. I think he came in at 165 and a half. They both came in 166 and below. Um, so I, I don't know if, if, if Stevens can go lower. Can he go to middleweight? Um, you know, th this was a good performance, though. He chopped down the tree, broke the man down, got him out. I, I thought he was winning. The judges obviously thought differently. You know, um, on the broadcast, they were all over the place. One guy had it even. One guy had hemp pill up. One guy had Stevens up. It was that kind of fight, which is why I was surprised to see the judges were all in one accord with, uh, with hemp pill. But that that was a top notch fight, um, and I, I think Hemp Hill has got to McGirt's got to work with him. Uh, how Stevens is twenty two, uh, Stevens got a high ceiling, I think. Um, you know, he's got some edges he needs to clean up. Hemp Hill's twenty seven. Um, he's he's fourteen when he's got eight knockouts. Um, we've seen him before on Showbox, I think. I have to look into. I think we've seen Hemp Hill before on Showtime, haven't we? Am I wrong about that? I'm looking right now. Maybe not. Show on a Christy Martin card. Um, check one more thing. Have we seen him before? On a show box. Why does that name sound so familiar? All right. Um, I don't think so. But but Stevens. Um, this guy's a, a prospect on the rise. He's 22. He still has some fine tuning, but you can see the power there. He likes to bang. He can get inside. He throws real clean punches. Uh, you know, throws his punch as well. Um, he's not the fastest fighter in the world, but he's not slow either. I think there's a lot to work with um, 
with Dynamite David Stevens. And 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 I, I like the the plan. You know, we didn't know what the scorecards were like, and, and and Shields didn't tell him to, to, to you know slam on the gas and go for the knockout. Um, and it just came. Because when you can break someone down, you can get to the body, you can land thudding shots, hit him in the arm, hit him in the body. Just, you can start to break him down over time. And you saw that's what Stevens was doing uh, with Hemphill. So that that's a really good win. Hopefully we get Stevens back on a um, on a show box card relatively soon. That was a really, really good performance. Um, really, really good to see. Um, hopefully he comes back to Texas. Like I said, he's fought in Texas a bunch. We've seen him a lot. Uh, but Showbox keeps doing this. Showbox keeps giving us these great cards. They, they match these prospects well. They match them tough. Um, it was a really, really good card. Really good card. Um, I'm excited uh, to see Hemp Hill again. You know, 168-pound division. I'm sorry. I'm so excited to see Stevens again. Hemp Hill, too. Uh, but I'm really excited to see Stevens again. I, I, I like uh, pressure fighters who stay calm. And stay to the game plan, and 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 don't you know just go for broke. Uh, really stick to it, and really really chop that tree down. Um, you know, it's gonna be interesting. You know, you know, do you want to do a show box call with him and Isaiah Steen? I think that's a good fight. What about Juan Alexander? You know, a name like that. Could he beat uh, Berlanga? Can <laughs> Ken Stevens beat Berlanga? Um, that's a great question. But there's some Americans here. I, I'd like to see him fight. Um, you know, namely, I, I'd like to see him in with someone uh, like Kieran Davis or Isaiah Steen. Uh, Steen's another 16-1 fighter. Uh, good prospect. We've seen on Showbox. Showbox likes to bring these guys back. Um, I, I think I think they should make that fight. You know, he lost his last fight with, with uh, Cena Ikbeko. Um, and, and that was uh, in Atlantic City. Is that a fight we can see? Was he seen uh, Becca and uh, and David Stevens? But I, I think David Stevens has a has a bright future. I, I want to see him moved along. You know, not not rushed, but moved quickly. He's twenty two, so he's young. He's got plenty of time. But you can see he's he's getting there. He's getting close. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Did you guys love the showbox card as much as I did? Really, really great card. Uh, you impressed with David Stevens? Who do you want to see him fight next? Uh, leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow 3D Boxing on all forms of social media. Uh, follow Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel and that one. Um, it is January 20th, 2023. Um, January 20th, 2023. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.